Meet Nate. He's on holiday from America and keen to explore, but doesn't know where to start. So he's rented a van and his very own tour guide, but it's not quite what you'd expect. I've been all over the world, Brazil, Thailand, and now New Zealand. It's just, it's just really difficult knowing exact places and locations to go. Today, Nate is using Tourism Radio, which is basically a radio station for tourists with built-in GPS technology. Well, it's very liberal and is rooted in both Jewish... Coming up ahead is Kelly Tarleton's Underwater World and... Unlike a car sat-nav, it doesn't get rid of the need for a map, but it does know where the driver is and points out places of interest as they approach. Bastion Point is a great place to admire the view, but most tourists wouldn't necessarily know to look for it. Nate will, although he's half a K down the road, Tourism Radio is already pointing it out and giving him some interesting history. You are now approaching the turn off to the Michael Joseph Savage Memorial and Bastion Point. The memorial honours the first Labour Prime Minister of New Zealand, Michael Joseph Savage, and overlooks the Waitemata Harbour. Tourism Radio has more than 75 different shows and dozens of DJs giving information on areas and attractions. Tourist organisations can pay to be included, and the company behind it believes it's a cost-effective way to boost tourism. Um, there's nothing else like it in the market. Um, we've got a captive audience there, it's all in real time, so we can draw the customer into the front door of these businesses as they are approaching them. Tourists get let down. Um, a lot of the times they, they go to the wrong area or they eat at the wrong restaurant because they just don't know. They hold their Lonely Planet book and they, they use that as the Bible of the way to get around the country. This gives really good information and, and it's trusted information and, and trust and credibility is really important. Similar gadgets on the market pinpoint places of interest, but this is the only one which operates like a real radio station. It is nice when uh, people fall asleep, you got them talking to you right there, so that's cool too. <laughs> Tourism radio will soon be available for GPS-enabled phones. All the benefits of a human tour guide, but you can switch it off when you've had enough.